Hey, uh, Austin, uh, a lot of what happened Saturday will maybe judge how people view your, your season. Is that a tough thing to, to deal with during the week, knowing that there's a lot on the line? No, I mean, I think as a player, I mean, I think it's – I mean, obviously we'd, we'd love to be 11-0 and right now. We're coming off the season we had, you know, to have the chance to keep playing on the line. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to have it any other way, you know, as a player to – chance to have another game with winning, you know, that much on the line. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I like it. Austin, uh, I asked uh, Jared this question, and it applies to uh, your side of the ball, I think, a little bit, too. You guys were so good in the first quarter, your first three games, uh, got off to great starts. What do you think's happened since then? Why has it sort of flipped on you guys the last eight games? I mean, I don't know, talking just about last game, I can tell you, you know, what happened with Michael Lowe, you know, anytime you lose, you know, a guy that's played a lot of games on the first play of the game, that's tough. But, you know, I don't know, things just really haven't gone our way. The ball hasn't bounced the right way sometimes. Penalties, penalties have killed us, you know, probably every game we played. But I, I don't know if you can point to one thing specifically, but uh, it's definitely a big difference when we start off with a stop or when we start off with a score as opposed to the way we started off the past couple games. Alluded a little bit to penalties. What do you guys have to do to, to cut down on how? What do you do in practice, sort of, to try to eliminate those? What kind of things? I mean, I would just say play smarter. You know, I mean, for us, you know, we are a pretty young team. As, as everyone, you know, we don't have a lot of seniors. But there's a lot of guys that haven't been put in those types of situations. So maybe it's you know, in film, like correcting, like, hey, you know, don't do this again, or you know, be smart here. Like when you're away from the ball, you know, a lot of our penalties are just kind of kind of bonehead plays that we shouldn't really make. But it's guys that are you know, trying to play really hard, sometimes trying to do a little too much. So probably just, you know, just learning from their mistakes rather than, you know, in practice, not a whole lot you can do in practice at this point, this late in the season, but kind of each each personal guy, you know, realizing what they did and, you know, try to correct it. Coach Dykes alluded to it, you know, in our, our team meeting the other day that, you know, 12 penalties for that many yards, you know, you're not going to win many games when you do that. So hopefully we can fix that. And if we don't have any penalties, I think we'll be on a lot better end of things. Got a new quarterback, a new running back from uh, from early in the season. Um, what do they look like to you? Uh, you know, to me, you know, they play hard. They're they're they run you know the spread offense. You know, I think they're probably similar to Arizona in a lot of what they do. You know, they're a lot of older guys and they they, they play really hard. Big, pretty big O line except for the center, and they're really good at what they do. And they've won three games with the backup guys. You know, so it's their system works pretty great. And you know they're going to be fired up to come in here, you know, play in our stadium and probably try to ruin our senior day. Austin, I know after after the Stanford loss, I think Coach Dykes addressed you guys and, and mentioned the bowl game deal and said this is going to be the only time I, I talk about it. Uh, I don't know how you guys responded to that, but but did it feel like maybe that was his way of trying to make sure that – you guys come back this week and, and on Sunday ready to work? Uh, exactly. I think that was a, is a great way for him to do it. You know, realize that this team we're about to play, they beat the crap out of Texas. Whether or not they had the quarterback or not, they're still a great team. Um, and, yeah, I think it's it's kind of his way of, you know, making sure you realize, like, this isn't no – you know, a lot of teams in non-conference schedule play like one double-A team or something. It, this, this isn't that kind of team at all. And especially for these guys, you know, you look at who they played the past couple games and you look at us. You know, you know they've had that circle. Like, we're going to go in there and we're going to do whatever we can to beat Cal. So we know that and we realize this is definitely a must-win game. Okay, is that it for Austin? Uh, with, with senior night approaching, I mean, you're the, you're the six-year guy. Uh, what kind of feelings do you have going into this and what do you anticipate for Saturday? Yeah, you know, I mean, i got, got a lot of family coming out and it would be, be a good way to – you know, kind of started my career with a bowl with a bowl game. You know, it'd be a good way to get this win and end it with a bowl game. So uh, I don't plan on ending my career Saturday. <laughs>